Hello everyone, Funshine X here, and I'm here with another computer craft tutorial. No, we are not building shapes with turtles this time, although I have some cool little designs that they have made for me, a little uh, spiral uh, that you saw at the end of the last tutorial, this little swirly tornado looking thing, and this what I call the nether bell. <laughs> it's a cool little thing built entirely by turtles. So let's hop in inside and see what we have here. Well, that's really cool. I've got monitors with color outputs and uh, and shapes. And this is all brought to you by a peripheral add-on for computer craft called CC GPU. And uh, that's, this uh, tutorial will be kind of like a spotlight slash tutorial, um, how to set it up and install it, how to uh, build the you know the modules and then arrange them and configure them and then how to code for them so you can draw cool things on your screens. Uh, so, you know, this would be really useful to make your computer craft games look a lot cooler rather than just simple monochrome text. Uh, now you can draw little circles of different colors. You could easily do chess or uh, Connect Four, you know, anything that, you know, Othello, anything that uses colored circles would be so simple to draw, but you can even get complex and draw a little guy, you know, dancing or, I don't know, uh, do complex RTS games whenever you want, you know, if you've got the time to program it and the knowledge, then you can do it with this mod. So uh, what I want to do first is show you where to get it. So you're going to want to go over to the Computercraft forums, and uh, if you go into the peripherals and turtle upgrades, you'll see a post called CCGPU, GPU item for, my, uh, for Computercraft, and it's brought to you by a poster named Master Plan. Okay, and uh, if I please, he's also had help from Cloudy, who's one of the uh, developers on Computercraft or admins on Computercraft. So he wrote this uh, peripheral. Um, so all credit goes to him, not me. And it allows you to OpenGL within Computercraft. And OpenGL is just a graphics library that allows you to draw complex, you know, simple to complex um, graphics onto screens. So um, to download it, you can see this one here says Minecraft 124.10. Uh, don't get this one, especially if you're on Computercraft 1.41. Um, but this will work with Minecraft 1.2.5, Computercraft 141, and uh, you're going to want to get CCGPU 1.09. So go to page 5, go all the way down. Here's me somewhere saying, hey, I couldn't get it working. And then uh, Fuzzy and Cloudy came in and said, uh, here's the one you want to use. So download this one here, it's 1.0.9, and just uh, you want to extract it. Don't just put the zip folder in your mods folder, you want to actually extract it into a folder. And it'll just go into CCGPU, start up Minecraft. Again guys, if you're on SMP or TechIt, I really can't help you, I just don't have a server that I play on or, or admin, so I, I really don't do anything with SMP. So you might be on your own or just come to these forums and post you know, Funshine told me how to do it, but how, what, what do I need to do differently for SMP if I'm not the admin or uh, that kind of thing to get this going. Okay, so we've downloaded that and we've got it working. Uh, it'll just load up, it'll put its, um, S, uh, it comes with an API and it'll go right into your Lou APIs folder, so you don't have to worry about that either. Um, and uh, you'll go to the, um, the wiki for CCGPU and it'll tell you all about the mod, um, but it adds uh, two blocks, a monitor and then the GPU itself. Uh, and they're going to try and add more blocks. They plan to add like a camera block, which would be really cool if they get that working. Um, but you can see in the actual mod itself, you get the graphics monitor and the GPU. And you can see let me get, uh, recipes on these. Pretty simple, a diamond, so it's a little more uh, expensive than like a computer. Uh, computer. And so this one takes a diamond as well. So that setup here would be 10 diamonds worth to get this cool little screen. Okay, back to the forums. And you can see that not only does it tell you all about it, it tells you the API. And here's tons of things. And unlike a lot of my other tutorials, I'm not going to cover every single API function and what it does. There's just too many. <laughs> so, um, and you also need to have a lot of knowledge of OpenGL and how it works. Um, and I've done some with OpenGL, but not a lot. I don't claim to be an expert with it, and I know a lot of people just starting out on Lua probably don't know OpenGL either, so that's not a problem. I'll, I'll show you how to get around that in a second. 
Um, so also with this, it comes with some sample code on how to draw a, a square. And uh, this is the OpenGL code to draw a square with four different colors, and they kind of blend into each other. It looks pretty cool. Um, I think they even show an example. I can't remember. Um, where's his? No, he doesn't have that sample picture anymore. Anyway, um, so if you don't know OpenGL or you don't want to deal with it, you also want to go into the Computer Craft Programs APIs, and Zuma202 created a Shapes API. So he did a very similar thing we did with our turtle. He said, oh, it's too complicated, or I want to make it simpler or, or faster to develop um, programs, so I'm going to write an API. So that's what Zuma202 did, a Shapes API for CCGPU. And uh, the code, you get downloaded it's, uh, on Pastebin, you're going to have to save it as a file and just put it either in your uh, APIs folder or just in uh, in a computer, a specific computers folder, and uh, it'll be ready to go. And you can see instead of doing that complex OpenGL code, you can just say, draw me a line, and here's the starting points, the ending points, the colors. And then also draw me a circle with this, the center, the radius, and the colors. And then that's it'll just go go okay. Here's the OpenGL code for it. Now you can just write it to out to the monitor. So I think that's really cool. Um, he has a list of functions here. You can do points, lines, rectangles, triangles, circles, a filled circle, and then actually draw, render the frame. Okay. So if you go out to his sample code, this one. Um, no, this is actually where you download the, the API. So I downloaded it. And I just put it onto one of my specific computers. And I think that's all of the internet that we need to see go away. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's actually go on here. And you can see that I've got, I saved it as something called GPU API. And you can see here's that, all that same code the draw frame, make a point, make a line, make a rectangle. And this might actually be a good way for you to kind of learn a little bit about OpenGL. So to do a rectangle, you have to color this, call this GL color 3F, and you give it an RGB, and then you begin this quads, and then is that it? Nope. Then you add the four vertexes of the rectangle. And then you call GL end at the end. So it's it's not you know something that's super easy to pick up how to do this open GL. It's not intuitive, I would say, because you have to you know say what color I'm gonna color with, then I'm gonna be drawing a rectangle, so expect four colors and then or four points and then give it the four points. Um, so luckily he's put all that in API for us. We never really have to learn open GL if we don't want to. Okay, so let's look at my actual program. I call it smile because I really do, originally, originally was to draw a big smiley face, but uh, I decided to just do nine co circles instead. So if you watched the last tutorial, you already know how to load an API, calling the OS load API function. And uh, we called it GP GPU API. You can call it whatever you want and just put that there. And then each of these little blocks of two codes draws a circle. So before I go that, I want to show how to set this up the actual GPU needs to touch the computer. It's a peripheral, just like a disk drive, just like a, a monitor, um, a CC uh, reader for the CC sensors, and that goes there. And um, when you place it, it gets itself an ID. And uh, if we call um, GPU.getID, it returns two. So this is the second one I placed. The first one I placed, I destroyed. And if you have multiple GPUs, you might have to say uh, get ID left or something like that. Um, and get ID right. So you could have two different monitors and control them all. So you could maybe have a total of six monitors per computer, maybe five because you probably want to disk drive. Um, but anyway, so that we know that this is GPU two. Okay, then you place all your monitors down, and each monitor, if you right-click on it, has a configuration. The frequency needs to match the GPU, so we just determined that was two. But then you can have an unlimited number of monitors on that frequency. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now remember that, because now if I go into my code, you can see 
Oops. But when I first I call the GPO API and I, I want, want to generate code for a filled circle uh, starting in the very center, these monitors are 128 wide, so 64, 64, 64 will be the center. I don't know what the third 64 is actually. Maybe that's the size. Oh yeah, that's probably the width. That's the radius. Okay, these are two of the X and Y, and that's the radius. And this is the color in RGB, so uh, from zero to one. So that means full red, full green, so we should get yellow. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, red and blue make purple or magenta, and uh, green and blue make cyan. Um, okay, so I, I, that stores the actual OpenGL code in, in this code variable, and then I call draw frame. And you have to pass it the, uh, the side that the GPU is on, and then the ID of the monitor, and then the code that was generated. That's simple to draw a circle. Say, go get the OpenGL code for me, because I don't want to type it, and then put it onto which, which monitor. Really cool, guys. Okay, so... What do we want to do with this? Well, let's, um, if we go back to here, we can see that he gave us some sample code here to draw this cool smiley face. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and uh, go ahead and delete. Oh, well, let's just do a different one. Hold on. Oops. Smile two. There we go. Okay. So you'll notice that each one, the cool thing about OpenGL is you can just give it a huge long set of instructions on what to draw and it'll just process them. So you can see that he says, okay, j give me a full, a full circle. And then using the double dot, that means append, uh, append another full circle and then another one, and then another circle, a circle, a triangle, a line, and a line. So he draws all that on one line of code and then outputs to the first monitor. So let's go ahead and save that and go back to Minecraft and do a smile too. Oh no. Oh, I know what we did. Let's, we didn't load our API. Do, do, do. Couldn't remember what I called it for a second. Okay. And then we need to say actually G GPU API. Really? Oh, it's going to be tough to debug because it's so long. Let me figure out what the problem is. I'll be right back. Oh, that was a problem. I just forgot to put, put the API in front of draw frame as well. Because it's also one of the API functions. Let's try this one one more time. Cross our fingers. Seriously. Be right back. Okay, another silly mistake. This was just scrolled off the screen because uh, it was so long. But yeah, each one of these is going to need GPU API. It's probably easier to just do over here Put it there okay so every single one of these calls like that Save it back to Minecraft. I think I got them all. Hey, there's a little smiley face. <laughs> cool. He's kind of got a mustache. Um, to do a filled circle, he actually draws 360 lines out from the center to uh, the radius, and so for some reason it's not drawing that, uh, the one at zero degrees kind of fixes itself. I don't know. So I think that's it. This is a short one. Um, 
I don't have anything cool to show off like a game or a, a thing, but because this was mostly a spotlight and a tutorial on how to set it up because there's not really a lot of information on how to use this. It's just there out on the forums. Um, but now you know how to set up a GPU, the monitors, how to configure their IDs and frequencies, how to load the, uh, the custom API by Zuma202 so you can work with the OpenGL code a lot easier. And uh, I look forward to you guys drawing some cool graphics and uh, games. I would love to, to see them or look at your code if you make something cool. Um, I'll, I'll definitely showcase it on, on my series if you uh, send me something that, that does something cool or looks cool. Um, I'd be happy to showcase it. And uh, our next tutorial, I'm not sure what to I plan. I, um, I have like five now in mind, so you're just going to have to wait if one of them is, your, is the one you're waiting for. <laughs> it should come soon, don't worry. Um, I've got a lot more time now to publish these, so they'll be coming out a lot faster than they did in the past. And uh, I really want to thank you guys for subscribing on uh, on YouTube. We're at a, just over a thousand subscribers now. We're trying to go. Let's get up to like 2,500 this month. Is my goal. Um, and then on to a million. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm I'm really thrilled with the support I'm getting and the. Uh, interest that you guys are taking in computer craft. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of servers out there, tech it or otherwise, that are are, are including computer craft. And uh, now you guys really know how to do some cool stuff on there. So this has been Fun X tutorial on the CC GPU add-on. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.